Hello, I'm Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. I'd like to talk today about a subject that many people don't know about or understand, and that's fatty liver. So if I said to you, what are the commonest forms of liver disease? You'd say, oh, alcohol-induced cirrhosis or possibly hepatitis from an infection. Yes, very common conditions, but the commonest form of liver disease is a fatty liver that affects one in four people living in the modern world. One in four adults living in the modern world will develop a fatty liver. Now, what's the cause of a fatty liver? Well, the major relationship to a fatty liver, if you take away alcohol and you take away certain medications that might damage the liver, is purely what we call insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is a gene that you inherit. 30% of Caucasians have it, 50% of Asians, and 100% of people really with darker skin carry the gene for insulin resistance. That predisposes you to diabetes, blood pressure, cholesterol issues, fat around the belly, cardiovascular disease, but also fatty liver and gout, another thing that's, that goes with fatty liver. So if you have a fatty liver, the best thing you can do for that is to lose your abdominal fat. So you, you might have pretty skinny legs and skinny arms, but a big pot belly. It's the pot belly that's not, not just an ugly lump of lard, but it's also an inflammatory organ that can cause a whole, sort of, a whole lot of issues. But it, if you've got that fat there, it's also in the liver, in your heart, in your lungs, in your kidneys. So fatty, fat around the gut means fat around your organs as well. And the problem with a fatty liver, it's not just, oh, I've got a bit of fat in my liver as well. That can progress to cirrhosis. That can progress to serious liver damage. And this big study of people with fatty liver showed that those who had a fatty liver compared with those who didn't had a significant increased risk for death by having the fatty liver. So my strong advice is to lose your abdominal fat, take the bergamot products I talk about all the time that I have the association with, and these things will help reduce your risk for any damage that goes from the fatty liver. Don't see fatty liver as just a minor irritation. See it as a serious condition that needs management. That's the checkup. Talk to you next week.